Today on our 2018 Grand Design Momentum 5th Wheel Toy Hauler, we're going to be installing Dexter's Heavy Duty Suspension Kit for tandem axle trailers, part number K71-359-00. This kit is going to be great to repair your trailer. So if you've got some damaged, worn out bushings, you can use this kit to replace all those worn out components. And the new components that come with it are going to be heavy duty and greasable. What this means to you is that they're going to be much longer lasting than your factory hardware. As long as you grease them regularly, that will greatly extend the life of your components. The bronze bushings that come with the kit measure 9 16 for the inner diameter. You'll get everything you need to replace your components for a tandem axle. Let's show you how to do that now. Before we get our installation started, I want to point out that our customer already has upgraded equalizers on it. So we're only going to be replacing the bushings, bolts, and hardware here. The reason we'll be using this kit to replace all these components is because buying it in a kit is still cheaper than buying the components individually. You want to begin by supporting your axle with a floor jack. This way you don't have to worry about it dropping down and you can also use the floor jack to adjust the level up and down to make it easier to install and remove the hardware. We'll begin our installation here at the back by removing the bolt at the rear of our leaf spring here. We're going to use an 18 millimeter socket and a 21 millimeter wrench. Now we can tap our bolt out. We've got a new bolt, so we don't need to worry about damaging our old hardware. Sometimes you need to lift up on the axle a little bit to assist getting it out. Once you've got the bolt out, we can lower our axle down with our jack. And now we can remove the old bushing. Now this bushing is so shot, I can just push it out with my finger but you may need to take a socket of similar size and a hammer to drive that out. We'll now use some spray lubricant inside of our spring eyelet. We'll take the new bushing that comes in our kit and we're gonna press it in. So we're just gonna get it started by hand and then the best way to get these in is to either use a C-clamp with a couple of metal plates anything metal work, washers, something that's gonna be a flat surface on there. Now these particular ones are loose enough where we can just use a hammer instead of the C-clamp, just kind of tap it in. But you always wanna have a plate on there to make sure you don't cause any dings or dents on your bushing. Now we'll use our jack to lift it back into place. Once you've got it lined up, we'll take the new bolt that comes in the kit the grease fitting side is gonna be on the inside and the bolt will go from the inside out. We'll follow that up with a new nut. We'll then tighten it down using the same size socket and wrench. Next, we're gonna move on to the other side of our leaf spring here. We're gonna to need to remove both of these bolts. We'll be using the same size socket and wrench. We can now take our plate off, slide our old bolts out. We'll just set those aside. We won't be reusing those. We're now gonna knock out this bushing, just like we did on the back one. Now this one here is a little bit tighter, so we can't just push it out by hand. Our top one here, we won't need to press out since we're gonna be using our equalizer that's already been upgraded. We're not gonna be replacing the bushing that's in there as it's different than the ones that come in our kit. And just like on the other side, we're gonna lubricate this up and put our bushing in. Since this one's a little bit tighter than the back, we're gonna be using the C-clamp method to get it in. So we'll take our C-clamp, put a plate on the back side, put a plate on the front side, and tighten it down. This will press the bushing in, 
you don't have to worry about causing any dings or dents from swinging a hammer. Now if you were replacing the equalizer, you would need to support the front axle as well, remove the hardware here, press out the bushing just like we did here, then you would install your new equalizer by removing the bolt up here, pulling that down, putting the new equalizer up, and reinstalling it with the new bolt. Since we're reusing ours, we're gonna be skipping putting the new equalizer in. Again, it's just that one bolt. You would have to have both the front and rear loose at the same time to put it in. Once the new one's in, you would take your new bolts that are already pre-pressed in to the bracket here. Slide them into the new bushings, an equalizer. Place a plate on the other side. And reinstall new nuts. We'll then tighten it down using the same size socket and wrench. You'll now repeat the same process on the other side and for the front axle. You can now remove your jack and all your jack stands that you've got supporting the axle. And now all that's left is to grease all of your new bushings. You can pick up some grease here at eTrailer.com if you need some. And that completes our installation of Dexter's heavy duty suspension kit for tandem axle trailers on our 2018 Grand Design Momentum 5th wheel toy hauler.